Storg. I'm going to go in here with the owner's permission, of course, to see if I can videotape. But this is the store that I buy a lot of my um, products that I use for the Thai cooking and Chinese cooking. So let's go in and Japanese see Japanese and Korean cooking. Okay, YouTube, I am in the store. And this is the owner. She's my friend. She's a great lady. I love her. And we're just going to walk around here. And she's going to show me and recommend some great sauce as she has in the past. And as you see, they have a wide selection of sauces. Fish sauce. Which one is the um, less fishy? It doesn't taste really fishy. I don't want the strong taste. No, I don't like the strong. This one's a fish taste. Not much strong. This is a good, real good. Is it strong? No. No? Okay, this one is. Okay, and she has recommended me this for the fish sauce. So I'm going to take that and my soy sauce. Oh, you need the soy sauce? Yes, I remember you told me about that one. Not too much salt, is that correct? Not much salt, right? Yes, not much salt. I want the smaller one. Oh, yeah, the, okay. yeah, that one. Yes, that one is very, very good. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is a great, great sauce. I love this sauce. And do you have sticky rice and sake? I told you guys, she has a lot of stuff in this store. This is a really good store to shop in. So, she's just going to show me a lot of other things. I have small size. Okay. Sweet rice, okay. Here's my sweet rice that I will be doing the Thai ice cream with. This is brown rice. Brown, brown rice. Brown. Which is better, this one? Because I'm just going to... Um, I'm making Thai style ice cream sandwiches. Okay. okay. And what else did I ask for just now? Rice. I think that was it. Was it sticky rice? This is a sweet rice. Yes, yeah, a sweet rice. Yeah, this, I'll give you a sticky rice. Oh, they're too different. Oh, you make it just cake, right? No, I'm making ice cream with this. I'm going to put it on ice cream. Mm -hmm. I think this will be real sticky rice. Is this it okay? One is, we make it, you know, sushi rice. No, this one is what? This is why I want sweet. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, I told you guys she has a lot of great stuff in the store. She's been here for a long time, but I can't remember the years because I just moved over this way. But some more things I'm looking for. But anyway, just to give you a look and visual of her store, I'm looking for I'm looking for rice wine vinegar. I uh, sake. That's what I need. Sake. So if I can find the sake, oh, they got. Oh, I don't know about the barbecue salsa store. I, I've been here all day shopping. I have some great, great stuff. So I'm just going to look around and um, look for some other stuff. And I'll be back with you when I'm done. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I just got some rice cake to make the um, spicy rice cakes. And this is some of the other stuff that I have so far. I have rice cakes, the fish sauce, sweet rice soy sauce, Miriam, and look at the great selection they have of the, the steamed dumplings. Not sure what that is, but it looks good. And they have the taiyaki. So they have a lot of great stuff in the store, but I need the sake. Anyways, guys, I'm still in the store looking for the sake, but I will just turn on my camera so you can see all the great import, imported things that they have in this store. And I believe this is some... I'm not sure what that is. Looks like popcorn or chips or something. But it's cute. Look at the little package there. And they have a great variety, like I told you before. And some of their things, too, for your household needs also. So, anyways, if I find the sake, I'll be good. So, let me go around over here. And, um, I don't know where the sake is. I think this is their noodle section here. Have a lot of great different varieties of the noodles and things like that. So anyway, we're just gonna go around here and see if I can find the sake. I don't know where the sake is. <sighs> Maybe I have to ask the owner. Rice, 
cooking one. I wonder if that's the right way. If I need some of this. That's not too bad for the price. Some rice cooking wine. Always good in the dishes. And if I can find sake, I'll be happy. I know that if you're familiar with the cooking, um, you would probably recognize a lot of these. If you're like me, I cook this all the time, so as you know by my videos. But I am looking for the sake, and I may have to get the owner to show me where the sake is. Because I see oyster sauce, fish sauce, but I don't see the sake. So let me find the owners, and I'll be back later. Hey, gang, I'm back, and I have did all of my shopping. And this stuff that I brought today will last me for some time because, as you know, I do a lot of international cooking. So a lot of the stuff I will use here and there but it will be used so anyways I hope you guys like the tour of the store the store is right over here near me and I'm gonna tell you that store has just about everything that you need if you're cooking Asian or I don't know if you want to say Southeast Asian Japanese Korean I don't know but let me tell you she doesn't miss a beat in the stuff that she sells so great store Go check it out if you're ever in Colombia. Um, here are some of the things I brought. As you saw earlier, I was looking for this, the sweet rice. We have the rice cakes, some sesame seed oil, some marin sauce. I think I'm pronouncing it right. If I'm not, excuse me. And I have the fish sauce. And she recommended this brand here because she said it wasn't a very fish strong taste or fishy taste like I was telling her in the video. I don't like a fishy, fishy taste. So anyways, I found my cooking, rice cooking wine. I found that. And I had to get her to help me to find some sake. And of course she recommended when I first started going to the store, she recommended this brand here of soy sauce. And I'm going to tell you something. It's not very salty, but oh my gosh. It beats any of the store soy sauces ever. I don't know because that's really a brand of theirs. But Kiki Man is too, or Kiki Man or whatever you call that brand. It is too, but that brand there whew, is very good. So anyways, these are some type of yogurt drinks and... She always, always, I've been going to that store for a while since I moved on this side. And about a year now, I've been over here, almost two years. And when I go in there, every customer, as a thank you and an appreciation, she always gives one of these out with a little cute straw to go with it. But I guess, you know, I've come in there so much, and she knows I have kids. And um, she gave me one of these as a nice present. She's a super sweet lady. I, I never catch her name when she comes in because a lot of times she's busy. But today, um, when I first came in, there was nobody there. And she had time to walk around with me. And then all of a sudden, and it happens quite often when I come in. Sometimes you go in and it's like, whoo, a lot of people. And then when you go in there, it's like, okay, nobody's here. Cool. And then the next thing, you know it, everybody starts coming in young old new you name it everybody shops in the store and it's not only asian people that shop in the store you have some americans you have some spanish i guess i don't know what they are i guess hispanic latinos i mean a lot of people come in the store because they have good food in the store and a lot of people like their food i love chinese food i love um korean i love japanese i love thai so she covers pretty much a lot of their their things that they have to offer for cooking. Or, and I know I'm talking long, but I'm just letting you know, this store is great. And it's just, I don't know if they all use about the same, you know, same things, you know, like Thai and Japanese may use the same ingredients. I don't know. I haven't really studied the culture to know, but I do know a lot of them, they use soy sauce and sake. So that's probably why. So anyways... If I'm not using the pronunciation saying Asian or Southeast Asian, I'm sorry. I don't know. All I do know is I like the food and I like to cook international food. I like to cook different things other than 
fried chicken and macaroni and cheese or you know some of the everyday hamburgers pizza and I do like those too now don't get me wrong but I like to branch out and um, I don't know but this area that I live in they have a international there's a lot of international stores here so I'm gonna be cooking from Afghanistan to uh, more Indian food and they have a lot of Indian stores here uh, Jamaica I like the, uh, the to make the uh, jerk chicken you know it's just a lot of different nationalities here and I happen to be very fortunate to live in the area where I, where I don't have to shop very far or go very far and everything is pretty much at the palm of your hand so enough for me talking today but I just wanted you guys to see everything again that I brought from her store